Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Maro and this is my gentle yoga class. I'd like to walk you through some of the props that we'll need today. This is my bolster tower. I took two bolsters, one on the bottom, two blocks, and placed the other bolster on top. Don't worry if you don't have any of these props. You can take a bunch of pillows and stack them up that you have around the house, or you can use your couch or an ottoman or any other type of furniture that you can place your legs on. So this is what it will look like. You're gonna sit close to your tower or piece of furniture and lie down. We'll place the legs on. The shins are somewhat parallel to the floor and allow the legs and the knees to open. So if you're using a piece of furniture, you'll lie down on the floor or on your mat right at the edge of your couch and you'll place your legs on your couch or your ottoman or whatever you have so that we can take the psoas to the spa in an attempt to do some core work today. All right, so join me, grab your props. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Ah, I think I can do this all day. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> Good. So go ahead and lie down if you haven't already. Placing your legs on your, I guess, your pillow tower, bolster tower, or your couch, whatever prop you're using. All right. So let's release the whole body in this shape. So you might close your eyes for a moment. And let's begin by letting go of any distractions, anything that might be weighing on you this morning. So you can imagine that you're setting down this really heavy bag that you've been carrying around. So you are allowed to just place that bag down and have that sensation that you're sitting in a comfortable chair. You're just plopping into this chair and letting go. And let's use our breath, a releasing breath to help us rid of anything else that is distracting. So big inhale through the nose, open your mouth and sigh the exhale. Good, let's do two more. Big inhale. Open your mouth, release. Good, make this one your biggest one. Big inhale through the nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Perfect. Good. Now see how you can really let the body sink on the mat, on the floor, wherever you are, and let the legs sink into the props. If you can, you're trying to open the knees a little bit, just let the feet flop to the side. This is a passive release of the psoas muscle. This is taking the psoas to the spa right here. It loves this. And since we're doing some core work today, this is really good to release that muscle because it likes to get in the way. It likes to do things. I feel like sometimes it has a type A personality. <laughs> But we don't want it to work. We want our deep belly muscles to turn on today. So just for the next few minutes, allow yourself to melt a little more 
Let yourself let go. Let go of the legs. And we can find some deep breathing here while the psoas is at the spa. So you can place your hands on your belly. That might be helpful just as a reminder to breathe a little more in your belly. So begin to stretch the breath out in both directions. Taking longer inhalations and longer, deeper exhalations. And try to slow down the breath as you stretch it out. I know it's allergy season right now, so hopefully you feel good about breathing in and out of the nose. You can use your mouth when you need to, that's fine. Just try to breathe through the nose to the best of your abilities today. And breathe in such a way that makes your belly move. And if you're having trouble taking a big inhale, you might try pausing at the bottom of the exhale. I know that might seem counterintuitive, but it actually works. Just a little pause at the bottom of the exhale helps you take a bigger breath in. Ask your legs to release a little more into the tower. And for the last few breaths here, see if you can also breathe into your low back. So as you breathe slowly and deeply into your belly, see if you can send some of that breath into your low back. Let's take a few more breaths here. Beautiful job. And we'll wake up from this very slowly. And you can just slowly move your arms, sorry, your legs off the tower and maybe push whatever furniture you grab to the side. Ah, yes. And once you arrive on your mat, Go ahead and hug your knees in towards your chest. Just give yourself a little hug. And you can rock side to side. Come back to center, release the feet down and let's find some windshield wipers. Just letting the knees plop to the side, one side. And they come back up through center and they just fall the other way. Just letting them fall however they want to fall. Nice and slow. Just go back and forth. Side to side here with the knees, the legs. As you continue to breathe. And know that if you have distractions that come to visit you throughout the class, because they always like to come back. 
And when they do, just look away. You have the choice here to look away, keep setting that heavy bag down over and over again. Keep coming back to your body and your breath and whatever movement or pose that we're working on, just focus on that. And the next time the knees fall over to the left, let's leave them there and find a reclined twist. Let the legs come together. We'll do two different types of reclined twists, but for now, just let them be closer together. Left hand is just gently guiding the outer right thigh down. It can help just kind of pull the leg down. And then you're working towards anchoring the shoulders on the mat. That'll help you find that twist. And if you want, you can even look over the right palm. Good, hold and breathe. Hopefully you feel yummy, stretchy sensations in the outer right hip, maybe the right glute. And this should feel yummy in the spine and the low back. So hold this and take a few deep breaths. Relax your face, relax your jaw. One more breath. Good, from here we'll find a psoas recline twist. So don't move the legs yet, but bring your attention to your right leg and you're gonna slowly start to heel toe that right leg a little over to the right. So you're kind of opening the knees while you're st still in this odd, somewhat reclined twist lying down. And we're aiming at getting the right knee in line with the right hip to the best of your abilities. And you can always place something under the right knee. So if you wanna take a look at how I'm doing it, you can take a peek or you can just follow my verbal cues. So right arm goes up and over. So your right knee, right hip, right arm, everything in line. And place the left hand on the right side of your belly. So you just want to encourage yourself to breathe in that side. The psoas muscle on the right side. You should feel a stretch on the top of the right thigh. And everything should say yes. This is a whole body yes. You can modify any way that you need. Reaching through the right fingertips, let's take two deep breaths here. So you're inhaling deeply up the right knee, the right hip, the right arm, and exhale down the body, creating some length. Good, one more breath, inhale up the body. And exhale, reversing the direction, moving down the right arm, right hip, right knee. Good, and we'll slowly come out of this. You can release the right arm and just come out of this and we'll come to the center, hugging the knees in again. Find a little symmetry here in between the asymmetry. So on an inhale, let the legs go up to the ceiling, arms overhead, big breath in. Good, exhale, hug. Two more, inhale, heel bones to the ceiling, arms overhead. Exhale, hug. Last one, make it your biggest breath, inhale. And exhale. Good, release the feet down. Let's just windshield wiper one time on each side as a transition. Just go right, left, left, right, but we'll land with the knees to the right. All right, for recline twist on this side. Legs as close together as possible. You can guide the left thigh down with your right hand, releasing the left arm out. Just gaze over the left palm, hold and breathe. Try to anchor the shoulders down. So you really get that twist in the low back. And you'll feel a nice stretch sensation in the outer left 
hip, maybe the left glute. Ah, wherever you are, just hold this, breathe. Relaxing the face, relaxing the forehead. Two more breaths. Good, and from here, we'll transition into our hip flexor stretch. So just bring your attention to your left leg and just move it over a little to the left. And you're gonna heel toe your feet to try and get your left knee, left hip in line, left arm up and over. So you can modify this if you need to. You can place a block or a pillow just under that left knee. Good, so hold here and breathe. Right hand can touch the left side of your belly, just encouraging yourself to breathe in that area. Your left waist, that's what you're holding. Good, and then breathe here. And you can have a directional breath to help you create length, breathing up the left knee, breathing up through the hip and the left arm. And as you exhale, you just direct your breath down the body, maintaining that length that you created. Good, do two more like that and just soften with each breath. One more, one last breath. Good, from here, come out of this and we'll meet back in neutral again. Hug the knees in, rock side to side and release the feet down as we prepare for bridge. We're not gonna go quite, we're not gonna go there quite yet, but just place your feet hip width apart, feet as close to your glutes as possible as long as that feels good. Awesome, and then bring your attention to your low back. And I want you to have create a little bit of space in your low back. So we're not firmly planting the low back into the mat. We're just lifting it up just a little bit as if you can thread a Sharpie underneath your low back. Good. And let's find our breath here. So we'll do some deep belly breathing, maybe reach the pelvic floor, and then we'll incorporate some movement here in a minute. So inhale deeply into the belly, low back. Maybe you reach your pelvic floor. Just encourage your breath to go there. Everything expands. And as you exhale, just gently pull everything in and up. It kind of happens on its own with the breath. But just imagine that everything's hugging in and up, belly in and up. Good. Inhale deeply into the belly, pelvic floor. Exhale, gently let everything hug in and up. Good, a few more breaths like this. One more. Good, on your next inhale, tilt the pelvis forward. So what that feels like is you're sticking your butt out behind you. So you're creating a lot of space between the floor and the low back. And then as you exhale, You'll tilt the pelvis back. It's like you're planting your low back into the mat and then everything squeezes in and up. Good, so inhaling, tilt the pelvis forward. Stick your butt out behind you. And then exhale, tilt it back, planting the low back into the mat, belly in and up. Perfect, and let's just continue doing this. Bunch more rounds, inhaling, tilting forward. And exhaling, tilting back. Just ride the wave of your breath here. And when you inhale, I really want you to let your belly expand. Just let it stretch out in all directions. We don't want to 
hold it in all the time. You want to release it. And then you just feel it contracting only on the exhalation. That's the best way to strengthen your core muscles. We have to release it on the inhale. There's this epidemic of chronically contracting the abdominal muscles. And people think that that's a good thing and that their belly can be nice and strong that way, but it actually does the reverse. It weakens your deep belly muscles. So allow that swelling to occur, just the expansion on the inhale. There's even an element of strength that comes with it. It's almost like you're bracing yourself or something, but you're letting it swell out. And then the exhale, it just gently comes in and up on its own. Good. Beautiful job. So the next time you exhale, you're going to press into your feet, tilt back the pelvis, and then come up into bridge. Good. You're just lifting your hips up. And let's keep flowing here. So inhale, let the hips come down, tilt the pelvis forward. We're going to keep doing this. Exhale, tilt the pelvis back, press into the feet, lift the hips. Good. We'll go back and forth like this. Bunch more times. Ride the wave of your breath. Slow it down. Make sure you're really pressing into your feet when you come up into bridge. You're squeezing your bum. And then release the bum, release the belly when you come down, you tilt forward. Good, and then feel strong on the exhale. Let's do two more before we hold our bridge. Good, next time you're in bridge, hold it and stay there. Continue to breathe and just feel both feet pressing into the mat. Good. Imagine like someone's lifting your hips up effortlessly towards the ceiling and breathe here. You can keep the arms down by your sides. Sometimes people like to interlace the fingers underneath the glutes. They kind of shimmy the shoulders together and down the back and they create this little tripod. So you can try that. You don't have to just do whatever feels good in your bridge. Try not to move the head and neck, let it rest where it is. And take two more deep breaths here. Squeeze the bum. And release this down. Ooh, beautiful job. You can let the knees fall in towards each other. So feel free to do something else that feels good might feel good to do some windshield wipers, hug the knees in towards your chest. I just like to do constructive rest after I bridge. And see if you can just be here with this next breath. Be here in a way that you're not waiting for the next thing to happen. Good. Good job, everyone. All right, it just got serious. We're going to do some core work. Okay, we got this. So find yourself in a reclined chair. Your knees are over your hips, your shins are parallel to the floor, kind of like how your legs were earlier, except this is active. You'll notice that your core is already firing just to hold your legs up. Okay, if you want to make this a little easier, the knees are going to come closer to your chest. You'll still get the benefit. And having the knees over the hips is pretty hard, but if you want it to be even harder, have at it. I don't really like it that way, <laughs> but you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to have the knees just a little close to the chest today. And plant the low back in the mat. Press your low back in the mat. That'll help relieve any crunchiness. 
um, any pain in the low back. Okay. So we're going to do some nice belly work here, but first and foremost, we always find our breath. So I want you to do the same thing that we did earlier before our pelvic tilts. You're going to breathe deeply into the low belly and your low back. You might even feel yourself pressing your low back into the mat. And as you exhale, just gently invite that hugging in and up. Okay, let's do three more breaths here as we wake up our deep belly muscles. Good, two more. Last breath, big inhale. Exhale, hug in and up. And on your next inhale, your right toe is just going to touch down on the mat. And then exhale, bring it back. Hug the belly in and up. Inhale, the left toe is going to touch down on the mat. Exhale, bring it back. Belly in strong. Good. We're just going to go side to side like this with our breath. Inhale, right toe down. Exhale, back up. Inhale, left toe down. Exhale, back up, good. So find your own rhythm here. Go at your own pace. Feel really strong in the belly on the exhale. You'll even feel strong on the inhale, but let the belly swell. Press the low back into the mat when you inhale. Good. Maybe you close your eyes if that feels good. I like to do it with my eyes closed. It helps me concentrate a little better. We'll just do a few more rounds. You got this. And if this is easy, of course, the knees can move further away and the feet, the toe can even touch out further on the mat. That's how you make it a little harder. Good, let's do one more on each side. Perfect, release the feet down. Ah, you can sigh it out for a moment. Do anything that you need to do that feels good. And then let's just pause again. We're just pausing. And see if you can receive this moment without connecting it to the next moment. Good. And let's come back again. We'll do one more round of core work. So come into your reclined chair, right? You're in your chair that fell over backwards. Knees either closer to your chest or just above your hips. Shins parallel to the floor. Good, find your breath. And this time we're gonna go side to side. But first, big inhale in your belly, your low back, maybe your pelvic floor. And then exhale, just feel this hugging in and up. You may not feel it and that's okay. Just imagine that it's happening. That's step one. Good, two more breaths. One more. And on your next inhale, feel like the legs are glued together and just let the legs move to the right, maybe 20%, 30% however far you wanna go. Yes, the left hip is gonna come off the mat, that's okay. And then exhale, belly in and up and come back to center. Good, inhale, let the legs fall to the left, they're glued together. Yes, the right hip's gonna come up, that's okay. Anchor yourself with your obliques. Exhale, pull the belly in and up. All right, so we're just gonna go side to side, inhaling to the right, you can go as far as you want. Strong core. Exhale, pull the belly in and up and let that pull the legs up. Try that. Inhaling to the left. Exhale, back up through center. Good. Take this at your own pace. 
You can always make this harder again by the knees moving further away from the body. And it, this is easier when the knees hug in more towards the chest. So find the place that works for you. Honor your body and feel good about what your body's able to do today. And know that this is a great movement here. We're getting some oblique work, the side abdominal muscles on the side of the torso. Good. Let's do two more rounds. You got this, feel super strong, use your breath. Your arms can go out to a T. Sorry if I didn't mention that sooner, that helps with just holding yourself, holding your upper body in a good position so that your legs can move. Good, super strong. One more on each side. I think I made you do an extra one because I lost count, but that's okay. It's so good for you. <laughs> Ooh, and we'll come back to center. Oh man, release that down. <sighs> sigh out anything that you need to sigh out. And I think we're ready to come up. Good work. So let's go ahead and lean to one side. And then press yourself up. Good. You can bring extra padding for the knees, a folded blanket or a towel. And we'll meet at hands and knees, neutral tabletop. All right, right here. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's go ahead and tuck those toes so we can get a little foot stretch. Spread the fingers really wide in the right hand. Or spread the fingers in the left hand. Good. Feel the entire palm in the right hand, all the fingers, same thing with the left hand. And then as you inhale, lean forward just an inch, just a little bit. You're just warming up the wrist, putting very little bit of weight in the wrist. Okay, and then exhale. You're gonna send the hips back as far as they can go. Maybe you sit on your heels, maybe you don't. Don't worry about it, there's no magic to sitting on the heels, just go wherever the body can go. So inhale forward and then exhale back. Good, do a few more rounds like this. Just warming things up for us. So we feel good when we're doing down dog and any other poses that require us to put our hands on the mat. Good. The next time you come up, you can keep the toes tucked. Let's find some cat cow. So inhale, drop your belly and arch your spine. Good. Take an inhale here in your cow pose. And then exhale to neutral if you have any osteoporosis in your spine. Otherwise, you can round the spine, releasing the head and neck. And we'll just go back and forth. So inhale, untuck the tailbone, chest up, look up. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, or go in neutral. And let's take a few more rounds. Inhaling to cow. Exhale, cat. Uh, do two more. Last one, nice and slow, your biggest breath. And from here, find some organic movement, no rules. You can sway side to side, forward and back. You can move any way you want. Move the torso, make circles with the hips or the belly. Just see if you can relieve and release any tense spots in the upper body, maybe even the arms and the head and the neck. 
So this is a great place to close your eyes and just feel your own body. Just see if you can continue to breathe deeply, inviting the breath to relax any tight places. Good, just maybe two more breaths. And we will all meet in neutral tabletop. You can untuck the toes here if you want, unless you really like them tucked, that's fine too. We'll find puppy pose, which is our half down dog, walking the hands forward. The legs don't really move. You got your knees over your hips, walk the hands forward, sink your upper body between the arms. So you're in this upside down V shape. It's a half of V actually, half of V shape. You removed all the curves in the spine. So you just have a flat back. We're not arching, we're not rounding and just pause here and breathe. And from here, let's take this to a side puppy. So just as you are, you're just gonna walk your hands over to the right as far as you can go leaving the legs where they are and you should feel a stretch down the left side of your body. Just hold and take two breaths. Good, and we'll come back through center and go the other way. Walking the hands over to the left, feeling a stretch down the right side of the torso, maybe the right arm. Breathe there, breathe into the stretch. Good, come back to center. Beautiful, you can hold your puppy pose or feel free to tuck the toes and come into down dog. So this is your full V upside down, right? This is our upside down V shape. Spread the fingers. Press the palms into the mat, relax your head and neck. Good, maybe a micro bend in the knees. You can stick your bum up in the air. That'll wake up the legs. Good, and then that last, last cue, the best one is hug the armpits into the chin. Good, breathe wherever you are. Two deep breaths here. Drop the knees and table and step the right leg through for low lunge. Inhale to rise. Good, and let's rotate the wrists in one direction and rotate them the other way. Good, and then reach the fingertips up to the ceiling. And you can stay in your low lunge or feel free to lift the back knee off the mat and come into high lunge. A little more challenging. You gotta find your balance here. But feel super strong in the legs. Good, breathe deeply and see if you can come back to those same principles we've been working on. So breathing into the belly, into the low back, into your pelvic floor and exhale, pull the belly in and up. Two more breaths, wherever you are, low lunge, high lunge. Feel and follow two more breaths. And slowly release the back knee down if you're in high lunge. Hands down and pause here for a twist. Left hand on the mat. Right hand is gonna come onto your right thigh and just encourage the shoulders to move away from the ears as you turn your torso towards your thigh. So here's a little gentle way to twist. If you wanna go further, that right arm can go up towards the ceiling. We're just kind of opening your chest, encouraging that twist and just hold and breathe. And release that right hand down. Good, and we'll come back through table and let's find child's pose for just a moment. Let the hips Sink as far back as they can. 
Maybe the forehead lands on something. You can always bring <clears throat> the floor closer to you by placing something underneath your forehead. Good, just hold here for two breaths. And let's find a little flow. <clears throat> so from child's pose, inhale to come up to table. Let that inhale rock you up. Exhale, tuck the toes, down dog. Good, on an inhale, you'll slowly drop the knees to table using your core and exhale, child's pose. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling, come up to table. Exhale, belly in and up, down dog. Inhale, use your belly to drop the knees to table and exhale, child's. Good, and let's come up through table and step the left leg through. Low lunge on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Good, this time we'll flick the fingers. Flick those fingers. And then relax the fingers, reach them up to the ceiling. You can stay in low lunge. Feel free to lift up into high lunge. Finding your strong legs, your balance, and wherever you are, either low lunge or high lunge, find your breath. Encourage your breath to let the belly expand. Maybe you reach the pelvic floor. And as you exhale, just feel that hugging in and up. If you don't feel it, that's okay. Imagine it, encourage it to do that. One more breath. Release the back knee down, hands down. Let's find that twist on the other side. So right hand down, bring your left hand on your left thigh and then let the shoulders move away from the ears. It's like you just created space for your head and your neck. Hold that and turn your torso as much as it can towards your left thigh. Good, shoulders away from ears. Good, good, good. Know that you can twist as far as you want. Just bringing the low belly towards the thigh. You can keep the left hand where it is, or maybe it goes up to the ceiling. You have the sensation of opening in the upper chest, the collarbone. Again, make sure the shoulders are moving down the back, away from the ears. Beautiful, breathe. One more breath. And release this down. Let's come back. You have an option. You can do child's pose. You can do puppy pose or down dog. <clears throat> Let's hold for a few breaths. Relax your head and neck if you're in down dog or puppy. Hug the armpits in towards the chin. One more breath. Good, release the knees down. Let's come onto our bellies for a little back bending work. Maybe you bring that blanket with you. You can place it under your belly that helps relieve any crunchiness in the low back. And then let your hands be just under your shoulders. Forehead rests on the mat. We'll do a little cobra flow here. So first, let's wake up the legs. So you're gonna press the tops of the feet into the mat. The kneecaps will lift, squeeze the bum. Good, legs are on fire. Bum is awake, shoulders away from ears. And on your next inhale, you'll peel the chest up just a little into a baby cobra. Maybe you look forward. And exhale, release down. Good, inhale to come up. 
Shoulders away from ears. Exhale to release. Good, continue inhaling to come up. Squeeze the bum. Exhale, lower. Let's do a few more rounds. Let the breath move you. And feel how strong you are in your back. Squeeze the bum, strong legs. A few more rounds. You don't have to come up too high if this is too crunchy on the back. You still get the effects of the back bend, even if you just come up a little bit. Good, let's do two more. Last one. Good, and then rest here, make a pillow for yourself. Rest, you can bend the knees, let the feet flop side to side. Take big breaths into your belly, feel your belly, press against the mat. And from here, we'll all meet in child's pose. So press back. And we'll do one last flow before we rest. So just hang out here for one more breath to feel the counter pose. And all that back bending. And on an inhale, rock up to table again. Exhale, belly to spine, down dog. Lift your hips up as far as they can go. Good, inhale, use your core as you slowly drop the knees to table. And exhale, childs. Good, inhale, use your breath, let it rock you up. Exhale, use your core, move into down dog. Inhale again, use your core as you slowly lower the knees down and exhale, child's pose. And let's stay here. Stay here. Release the effort. Rest. And breathe. Release the distractions. Release the past and the future. See if you can just keep your attention here in this moment. Beautiful job, everyone. From here, let's all come up to find a seat to meditate. And if you feel like lying down today, you can. That's always an option. Or feel free to grab pillows, a block, a blanket on top of the block, bolsters, anything that you need. We want to try to elevate the hips. Good, and let's find a little shoulder stretch here before we start. So wherever you are in your seat, place your hands on your shoulders and then let the elbows come in towards each other and let them move up, keeping them together as long as you can, but then they'll separate, that's okay, and they'll move around, back and down. Good, so inhale, maybe they touch, you move them up. And exhale around, back and down, relax your face. Good, do a few more like this. Good, release this down 
And then on an inhale, let the shoulders shrug up towards the ears. Shrug, shrug, shrug. Open your mouth and sigh. Good. Inhale, shrug them up. And release. Good. One more. Biggest one. Shrug, shrug, shrug. Scrunch up your face. Open your mouth and let go. Good. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Make sure that you are comfortable in your seat. Make any adjustments that you need so that you can find stillness. And allow the legs and pelvis to feel grounded. Send your roots down into the earth. And lengthen through the spine. Like the spine is stretching up to the ceiling, to the sun. Relax the shoulders, relax your face. And if you want, you can find the sounds first. You might hear birds outside your window, but whatever sounds are there, They might be neutral, pleasant, unpleasant, whatever the sounds are, simply notice them. Narrow your attention to find your body. Just keep looking away from the thinking mind. And the activities of the mind keep bringing your attention back into the feeling body. You might narrow your attention a little more and find your breath. Your best friend who's always there for you. Just let everything exist in the background, the sounds, the other body sensations, and the thoughts. Just let your attentions feel and follow the breath. Let it stay with the breath. And as you're following the breath, see if you can look a little more closely at the exhalation, specifically at the pause at the end of the exhale. Just find that pause. It might be short, momentary hesitation. You don't have to force the pause from happening. As you watch it, it begins to stretch out on its own. And that pause is a very special place. You'll notice that there's no movement in the pause. There's no thoughts. So continue to feel and follow your breath for just a few more minutes and find some peace at the bottom of the exhale.
And the mind likes to wander away. And when it does, feel really good about coming back. Just continue to feel and follow the breath. Just a few more breaths here. And find the eye of the storm, that peaceful, calm place. And the pause at the bottom of the exhale. You don't have to force the pause to happen. Just surrender here. And it'll lengthen on its own. And you can continue to meditate till the end of class, or maybe you need to lie down for just a few minutes in Shavasana so that you can rest and absorb the practice. Choice is yours. Wherever you are, don't move quite yet. Just bring your attention back to your breath, back to your body. We want to take this awareness with us into the day. This is where the magic happens. You take your mindfulness with you off the mat. When you take your stable, clear, calm attention into the day, when you encounter your family, friends, people around you. So wherever you are, just very slowly begin to move the body. If you're lying down, you can reach the arms up and over your head. Taking a big inhale, you can do this in seated as well. And then if you're in Shavasana, you can hug your knees into your chest as you exhale. And just notice any impulse to try to jump to something in the future, like what you have to do after class, something that's on your mind for later, and just come back to the here and now. 
lean to one side and very gently press yourself up to a seat. Bring your palms together, hands at heart. I hope you take this mindfulness, this awareness with you into the day. May you receive each moment as it is. May you practice being rather than doing. May you be present. Namaste to all of you. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you guys have an awesome day.